If you don't have a Frisbee at home, we're gonna learn how to make your very own. What you need is two paper plates, some colorful markers, scissors, and some mailing tape or any type of clear tape that you might have to keep the two plates together. Okay, first you're gonna take your two plates and flip them over like you're putting food on top of them. And your next step, you're going to place the tape on top, letting the excess hang over. I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, so you're gonna take your tape and you're gonna cover the plate with it, leaving the extras on the side. And you're gonna do that to both plates all the way till they're all covered. All right, this is what your plate should look like when you've taped them both. Next, you're gonna use your scissors to cut the extra parts of the tape off. you've cut the extras around the plate of the tape you want to flip them over and get your markers ready and you can make any design you can color it your favorite color you can draw your favorite sport on there or maybe your favorite animal or a flower however you want to decorate it remember when you decorate your frisbee to just do the outsides of the plates not the inside because we're going to be cutting a circle in the middle of the plates. Now you're going to put both the plates together and press them together, the decorated sides facing out, and you're going to press it together and cut a circle out in the middle of the plate. You might want to have a parent help you poke a hole through it first with something to help you get started with cutting out your circle. Okay, your circle doesn't have to be perfect. It's not the easiest task to cut a circle out of the middle of both plates, but do your best. I know you can do it. Okay, now that you've decorated it and cut out your circles in the middle, you can either have a parent hot glue the edges together or you can use the tape to tape your edges together. And there you have your Frisbee. Now that you have your Frisbee made, I'm gonna show you a few fun activities that you can do with your homemade Frisbee. We're throwing our homemade Frisbee to see who can get it the farthest. All right, and the cone is marking the spot so everybody starts from the same position and then they're gonna stand wherever their, the Frisbee landed. All right, go stand by it. Oh, it's a close one. First. Second. Okay. okay, with your homemade Frisbee, and if it's a rainy day, you could play inside. If it's not a rainy day, you can play outside, but you can use your Frisbee and set up some baskets and even add sharks or other stuffed animals to make it more exciting and you're gonna try to toss it and make it in. You hole in one! And then you can also have some other baskets set up and try from a different distance. You, another hole in one, great job. All right, another activity to do with your homemade Frisbee inside or outside, you can grab your broom and have somebody hold it for you and then stand at a distance and you're gonna try to toss it and get it around it, almost like a ring toss. So you're gonna try, oh, 
and maybe give yourself a few tries. If you don't make it, that's okay. Just keep trying. You never know. Oh, all right. I'm going to stand a little closer. 